All right, YouTube, back with another video here on a 66. Working on the front wheel suspension here, and as you can see, pretty much got a lot done. Back part, everything locked tight. I just did the uh, packing and the uh, pretty much wiped it down with the uh, brake cleaner, and I packed both bearings, the inner and the outer. And I have the castle nut in here to pretty much lock it in place with the uh, pin. Let me walk over to the other side so I can show you what I'm doing here. This is how I pretty much got it set up and I'm preparing to pack the uh, wheel bearing so I could get the, uh, the wheel in here. As you can see, everything is nicely shaped. I'm gonna walk around while I'm packing the bearings here and I'll show you what I'm doing. This is the actual wheel hub here. What's going on in the car? Pretty much got some grease on the side. I got a packing tool, but for some reason, my grease gun is not working. So I just came up with a different you know, method here of making it work. I could just place my phone here. I will get some gloves and see what I do. Because they say where there's a will, there's a way. It does not work one way, it'll work another. And I have the inner portion already nicely greased here. Also with the, uh, the seal. And what I like to do, I placed uh, the grease also on the back of the seal and then I'll close that in as a reserve just in case I don't have much in the uh, bearing here but it's nicely packed and at the end of each packing what I like to do I would roll the bearing here so that the grease moves around and then I could actually hear it and then as I'm watching this spin I can see that the grease is being suctioned in also. It's just an easy method here of packing and it's nicely greased. I'm gonna wipe the rest out because there's excess grease on there. And we got the front and back nicely greased. And when I come here, I'm pretty much just gonna place it. I'll drop it inside the wheel hub here and then I'll get my seal pretty much put the seal in and then I got this little two by three piece of metal here I'll just place it there and then from there on I pretty much just bring it in make sure that it's in the middle because you want this nicely leveled And uh, here we go. Just little by little, you don't gotta put excess force. Just let the seal kinda make its way in there smoothly. And uh, as you can see, it's actually in place, but I'm just gonna give it a few more taps just to confirm. Yeah, but this little block here, it really assists in getting it in nice and centered. And excuse me, YouTube, I'm doing everything with one hand here. And I'll pretty much just go place the uh, wheel hub in now. See if I could just place my phone here. And you can just see how I do it. But before I do that, let me just get some grease around here. to do is just get a little bit of grease. I'm just going to pass it through the spindle here. Give it a nice smooth surface. I already had wiped it down to make sure that there's no 
residue or dirt, things that can actually cause damage. And you don't want too much, you just want enough so that that surface is nicely, I'd say, lubricated. And then from there, we have our little bearing here, and I'm just going to place that in the middle. Now, it doesn't actually settle until the outer bearing is in place. That will center it more. But we have it nicely packed here, and I'm just going to pack that outer bearing, and I'll pretty much take it from there. So we'll place the phone here, and you'll just see how I pack. Now, we have the outer. It's not packed. I like to get a little bit of grease in and as you can see there's nothing in there it's open spaces and i try to get as much as i can in the open areas and then i'll take it around the front here and i'll do the same thing sure that it's nicely greased and I'll bring it around the bearing wheels here and then from there on what I'm gonna do with the excess grease that I have here I'll put my hands two fingers on the center to give that free motion to the bearing and then I'll pretty much just run it through and as it's doing that it's actually absorbing the grease on the inside that way there's moving motion as it would be if it was in the car. And all that grease is pretty much just running in and out of the open areas, how it would do actually if it was already installed in the wheel. And then you kind of hear like a bit of popping. That's just the grease and the motion of the bearing. I'm just gonna place the phone here again. And we have a lot of grease on there actually. But I know it's nicely packed, it's all on the inside. I'm just gonna place this on the outer portion of that wheel hub and then we'll pretty much just take it from there. Okay, bring the phone around with my greasy hands. because we're putting in work here. Just gonna place this on the inside. As you can see, we got spinning motion and it's nicely centered there, but I just have to get the other seal to put it in place. I'm just gonna take these gloves off here all over my phone but as you can see we have motion it's just not supported because the seal is not in place to support it but I'll get that going I'm gonna get another set of gloves here What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna dab some grease here before I put that uh, spindle seal in place. Just like to pass a little more. You don't wanna overdo it, but at the same time, you wanna make sure that you have enough because this is a moving part and we always wanna make sure that our moving parts are nicely greased. Pretty much come over here. I get the spindle seal. And then here we go. This seal has a little, I call it like a tooth. And it has an open space here where that tooth kind of just slides in. And then you kind of just want to push it in there so that it's nicely in place. I'll go ahead and grab my castle nut. Doing all this with one hand, you 
one hand recording while one is doing the work. And then we're pretty much just gonna lock our castle nut in there. As you can see around the back here, pretty much same amount of work, QA ones. I'll walk around the back and I'll show you that also. Okay, we have that in place. I'll just walk around the back here. This is actually the back work that I had done. As you can see, all the wheel studs are pressed in. We got everything lined up here. Lower control arms, the pan hard bar, QA1 shocks. It's just a project in progress. I'm looking for my tool here. Bring my chair around. Make it a bit more comfortable for me. Okay, now as far as tightening the castle nut here, I'm gonna tighten it till I have tension on that wheel. And as you can see, it's, it does a little bit of free spinning and I'd say that's kind of fine there. You just don't want it too tight to where there's just too much tension because then you go against the motion of the automobile when it's driving. And I just tightened a little more. And as you can see, it's real stiff. And that's what you don't want. You kind of want a free motion here. So I'm just gonna back a little, little by little until I'm satisfied with the amount of free motion that I have here. And I would say I'm, I'm actually happy with that. I would actually even tighten it a little more. I'm just gonna drive it in and kind of redo everything. You wanna make sure that you have this right, YouTube. Now, as I'm spinning, I can see there's some tension. It's actually fit, spinning free. But I actually say I'm happy with that. I'm just gonna tighten a little more just to see what happens here. I'm gonna retighten it because it doesn't hurt to redo it. Now this is just not giving me much play. But as I spin and the parts get to moving, it actually loosens a little. But we don't want it that tight. So I'm just gonna back off a little. I'd say I'm happy right there, YouTube. So we got it nicely packed. We got the castle nut in. And I pretty much locked that uh, sway bar, front sway bar in place there. Then we'll get to installing the uh, Willwood brakes that I have here. Okay, YouTube, this is just an update on the 66 Impala. I'll keep you posted on any other updates.